the, the it crashed the stream and I was trying to like hurry and get it bring back up and I pressed the wrong button and it was like end streaming now I was like no but here we are so we're back from outer space so we're gonna go ahead and get started back at what we were doing of working on of working on this pendant so there's that <laughs> And I am making sure I am live chat. And I guess I'll go ahead and pull up my tablet. That way I can see y'all's comments while I work. And stay up to date with y'all's. Like, keep up with answering y'all's questions. How do I get my tablet to turn on? There we go. Give me just a moment. Hello again. Ah. Uh, Joe Kenobi. There we go. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> so also, just as a quick note, <laughs> right, Daniel? <laughs> it's the stream dropped, and I was trying to bring it back up, and I clicked the wrong thing, and it ended the stream, so here we are. <laughs> but, um... Oh, is it even a Tuesday if I'm not making a bumbling mess out of technical difficulties that shouldn't be this hard? Like, really? Three, four... Hi. Hey, Janice. So, um, uh, this little cottage house I want is adorable in the rush. Oh, Bella Ann, I'm so glad. I'm glad. Did it arrive safely? Like, nothing broke during shipping or anything like that? I have to say, I'm really glad we got a bunch of those made when we did, because our glow for died. <laughs> and I was like, well, there goes our ideas for doing the, you know, laser cut fairy house kits and all sorts of stuff. Well, if I'm not hard on me, who will be? Y'all are so nice. I've got to have somebody hassling me and nagging me like a mama hen to get me back on track. And if anybody else does it, I just get, like, catty and rude. So <laughs> I'm the only one I'll listen to. <laughs> like, if somebody else scolds me, I'm like, excuse me, who are you? Whereas if I, if I scold myself, it's like, yes, ma'am. So what's it called? Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy and self-parenting, I think, are the terms that I've been researching about and trying to implement. So I, I do agree with you, Mary Hart. I probably do need to speak more gently to myself, but also um, one day at a time. <laughs> Daniel says, yes, Miss Vaughn. <laughs> No, Jim. <laughs> Does everyone send Vaughn giant boxes of stuff? No, no, no. I'm trying to declutter my house and I'm addicted to hoarding and beads. Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Is it the roof? Mm, in a roundabout way. Is it the insurance? In a roundabout way. Will you tell me after the stream? Yeah. I was expecting it in a roundabout way. Hey, beautiful man who lives in my house? Yeah. No, please make me something good to drink. Like tea or coffee. Me, please. Wendy. Beads, you say? Yeah, I'm like sorely addicted. And easily enabled, apparently, too. <laughs> I am a master of self flashing, so from one who is very familiar with practice, it's just a reminder to both of us. That's fair. That is fair. Yes, but over the years, though, too, no one has roasted me like me. So. <laughs> hey, Cassie G. Hi, guys. First time in chat. I usually watch on my TV and can only watch the chat. Well, right on. Well, I'm glad you could join us. One of us. One of us. Goobble gobble, goobble gobble. Oh, hey, honey. I'm not chanting and being weird. How are you doing? I love you. No, please, please get back. 
Oh, can I show off your shirt? They already saw it. But I want to, I want to like show it off this time. Okay, guys. I how do I flip it around? Don't cancel the stream. <laughs> I'm not gonna cancel. Um. Okay. So we are partnering mm. with the very cool people at World of Strange, and if y'all go to their website, worldofstrange.com, I think is that their website. Yes. Um. And use coupon code B T E. Are you taking your allergy? Uh. Uh. Right I'm now? dying of allergies. Tell. Really? Yeah. Where's my? T I don't even know where my tissues are. Oh, anyway. oh I've got like. If you use coupon code. <laughs> yeah, B T E twenty like two zero. Uh, you'll get twenty percent off your purchase. And y'all, they carry my big boy, big girl shirts. They carry up to five X, which is my favorite size for getting trapped in while sleeping with clothes on. So, but <laughs> if you're the type of person who likes to wear shirts or has a torso for putting shirts on or know some knows someone who has a torso that they could put shirts on please check out our awesome friends with world of strange uh they are the best and if you check out their social media on instagram and the tiki talkie uh you can watch them make, you can their, watch shirts. Them make their shirts like they don't sew the fabric but they do all the screen printing by hand and it's amazing so it's really cool and randy's had this shirt for like two or three years no, this one they gave me for Christmas last year. Okay, so a year. And yeah. you've been wearing it in your weekly rotation, yeah. and it has still held up this well. So not a paid promotion. They're just people I really like. Um, and they also work with independent artists and Thank use you. licensed um, artwork. So um, that way you're supporting artists, you're supporting small businesses and stuff. And I don't know. It, all of our family, y'all, I'm not going to lie to you, kind of got tired of getting jewelry for Christmas. So we started giving them shirts from World of Strange. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Moving on. But yeah. Well, uh, our weekly rotation is like just what clothes we tend to. Oh, it's the I gotta... clothes that make their way back to the top. Yeah, the clothes that we're wearing so they get washed, so they get put into the in the front of the closet. So it's kind of like how I've been wearing the same darn tie-dye shirt for like three months now, apparently. Hey, Rebel, how's it going? Hey, Wayandy. Uh, Can you get me an allergy pill? Yeah. Thank you. I just, I feel like my nose is just going to fall off my face. Excuse me. But yeah, do y'all do that? Like have a weekly rotation? Mm. 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 Oh, I hear the squirt of a coffee pot. <laughs> hey Claire, how's it going? <laughs> no, we wear we we typically wear different outfits every day. It is it keeps one shirt from getting too many like paint marks, burn holes and <gasps> dog fur. Hey baby. Thank you for the dog coffee. Fur. Have a kiss too. No, don't feed me pills. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thank you for everything you do for me. I would literally be a even hotter mess without you. Please pardon me for a minute while I take my like Zyrtec or whatever the heck this is. I'm like the worst at taking pills. I almost have to like wrap it in cheese and trick myself. Um, ooh, well, I'm glad y'all like this, uh, Beth and Victoria, um, and everybody else who likes it. These are antler tips that were sent to us from a secret Santa. These are them on, um, like they were purchased on Amazon, but this is like the brand and stuff. And every single one of them seems to just be top quality, like wonderful, um, antler tips. And I'm actually doing a tutorial, our coming tutorial this coming Sunday. We're going to be premiering how to use epoxy sculpt to make. Well, where'd the other two go? There they are. To make um, these pendants. 
and I was doing a couple of prototype pieces, not just to um, sell in our upcoming auction, hint, hint, um, <laughs> bye Jim, thanks for hanging out, um, but to, uh, I'm, I did a, a tutorial, in the tutorial I show how to wire wrap this one, but I also wanted to do a slightly more advanced tutorial for how to wire wrap in this style, something that's being held on to like that. Hey Brooke, it did. Randy and I are streamlining all of our social media and internet presence for in 2021 so that we can actually manage and keep up with everything. Um, so we are no longer on Discord, DeviantArt, we're really pulling away from Patreon. Um, a couple of other ones that like we were on but never really like promoted but still somehow we're getting messages on them. So it's like we're just trying to get everything thing into one spot that way we can actually keep up with answering y'all's messages and communicating with you guys and not having to send everybody in 20 different directions to find all the information of what's going on um and so we're going to be using our website as a hub for all of that stuff um website instagram and facebook uh the business page on our facebook and um, that way, if people still want to share pictures and stuff of uh, Facebook and Instagram, we don't have any private or public groups specifically around our business because of everything. I, like, I love you guys. I cannot emphasize that enough, but I do not like managing people or having to moderate people's interactions or be like, hey, let's get back on topic. It's like, I want y'all to be able to do whatever you want to do, but whenever you host a group or you know, something like that. It's kind of like having a party in your house all of the time. And as somebody who is a micromanager, and that's why I don't have employees, is because I do feel like I'm a horrible person to work for because I am so, like, workaholic, micromanage, like, so overly focused. Um, it's like having a party in your house all the time, and I want everybody to feel welcome and to be having a good time. And it just... I. I I was getting to where I felt like I was never able to switch off, but was always failing at engaging and getting to like hang out because I was so focused on working. Oh, <sighs> so, and then if you look away for literally a minute at the party that's happening in your house 24 seven, then somebody's taking their clothes off and they're crapping in the chips. So, um, so yeah, we're just, we don't have any groups or anything like that. So, um, but y'all can still tag us um on instagram like the hashtags that we're going to be pushing this year are craft along with vaughn and craft along club that way anybody who uses that hashtag y'all will be able to see each other's work it also gives us a great way of being able to kind of promote y'all um to other people who may not have been able to find your page or something um <laughs> But truly, though, like and anybody here who's ever moderated a group, it can quickly turn a casual hangout into being at work all day. Um, and I miss just hanging out with you guys, which is, you know, what we have the live streams and uh, comment threads and stuff for. <laughs> so it's um, we had a couple of folks email us and who were quite angry about us pulling off of DeviantArt and Discord. And it's like, I understand, but it wasn't anything personal to anyone. And I just really needed to kind of put that boundary down to for myself to be able to be like, okay, work is over for the day. Business hours are over, which is really hard to do. I think if a lot of y'all can understand uh, who work at home now, it's very difficult to, how do you implement that division between being at work at home and being at home at home? So I had to be able to figure out a way, and hopefully this will work. Um, no, no, nothing catastrophic, Brooke. I re the only catastrophic thing that happened is that I had typed up the everything that I'm saying to you guys now, and then didn't send it, apparently, <laughs> which I'm very sorry about. But um, I really dropped the ball on that one, and I apologize. Victoria says every day with being a teacher I bet yeah and so it's it just trying to figure out ways you know I sat down and you know it's a new year and this is the first year in a while that I've kind of been getting caught up in the new year new me stuff new opportunity to kind of reset um and I have been embracing it hard um <laughs> 
Hey, Ashley, how's it going? And so I'm waiting for this coffee to cool down so I can dump it into my body. Not yelling, just at work. <laughs> right on, Bev. No, again, it's we're very sorry. Right on, Anita. Thank you guys for being so understanding and patient, too. Like, it's... Like, I get it. But uh, I've been embracing using a planner has been like even even so far just the past what two weeks of really diligently using um both my happy planners and my dump like um not dump it's the daily to do dump like it's a brain dump uh planner so uh has really been really been great. Propool says, are you going to start Vonster Vlog again? We do have plans for that in 2021, but um, our priority has been to just focus on getting the house together. Um, like, I'm reapplying myself to all the fly lady principles and different things. Um, like, last night, I was like, oh, it'll only take 15 minutes. Let's just take a break with some tea and figure out our house zones. 50 minutes later, I was, like, like so mad at myself for having such a big house. <laughs> so full of messes all the time. But, um, but Randy was very patient and helped calm me back down and fed me some, like, I don't know, grapes or something. Because the hanger took hold. <laughs> right on, Mary Hart. Working on drawings at work, so all text must be in caps. <laughs> Pius is back with my coffee. Right on. But, uh, but yeah, doing fly lady stuff, I'm really excited to have the house zones because it's planning is essential, but plans are useless, I think is the way the quote goes. And that speaks so true to everything. Um, oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Sorry, my friend Tracy just texted me. She's like, oh my god, somebody just bought one of our shirts. Thank you. It's like, oh, bitch. <laughs> I love those folks so much, though. Ooh, hot coffee. Do what? Watch Fly Lady. Fly Lady is, I think the FLY stands for First Love Yourself. Um... And it's, uh, she has like this whole cleaning method for just getting your together and keeping your house clean so that you'll never have to spring clean again. It's kind of like the concept of having your house guest ready at all times, which to be fair, if I know somebody well enough that they're coming into my house, um, like, cause y'all don't know, I could be locking folks in my basement. Not that I do, <clears throat> but it's <laughs> like having somebody in your house is a very personal thing. Um, like to me and so it's like if they come into the ho into the house they know me well enough that it's like yeah it's a shit show <laughs> but I do want to have the house together enough that I'm not accidentally mailing people clumps of dog fur with their pendants um that I'm not tripping over my own stuff that I don't die under a pile of boxes or something um <clears throat> so <laughs> pro says you can look for me in the basement <laughs> <laughs> right on pro well thank you guys for showing them some love but um and it's just stuff like doing a little bit every day like do y'all want to see my planner if you say no i'll cry in your face like <laughs> can confirm <laughs> randy's in there cackling <laughs> i would never do <laughs> says for me to show you guys after <sighs> I will listen to him because I love him and his face is pretty um I'd love you and if you look like a bucket of rocks honey actually I really like rocks I do like rocks <laughs> okay so we'll keep working on this pendant do the giveaway and then look at um <gasps> wow rebel that's crazy 
But, um, what was I saying? We'll do this, do the giveaway, and then look at the planner and talk about, um, hey, Christina, talk about fly lady stuff and like our cleaning method and everything that we're going to be trying to do. So how do I want to do this, though? I think it's going to have to branch over in the back. Oh, but I don't want to hide all that cool, cool stuff we did. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to undo all that cool stuff we do. Ooh, I know how I want to do it. Okay, so we're going to bring this down to here. Hey, Deanna, how's it going? And I'm going to bend this around. Womp, womp. Kind of like that. <clears throat> Ooh, coffee. <laughs> hey Janice. <clears throat> and I'm gonna kind of oh there's not quite enough space though, is there? Maybe if I take this and stretch it down. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make a little spiral out of that. Honestly, making it up as I go. So. <clears throat> so also, I've discovered if you cut at a little bit of an angle, then it makes this, like, super cute. I can't wait to try this with, like, solid bear copper. Or even, um, gosh, if I ever get the funds together, surgical, or not surgical, that would be easier. Well, more affordable, but difficult to work with. Uh, sterling silver is the word I'm looking for. But by cutting at an angle, do you see how it gives it that cute little? Well, didn't do very well on this one, but it's still, I like it. So there's that. And then on this one, I'm going to come up and I'm going to cut in which way which way do I need to turn it hmm. it does but great it tucks right in so make sure the metal doesn't go into your coffee and just the sharper of an angle that you can get it uh, on this wire it shows off the uh, copper core just 10 point 10 five days ago and I love your videos well hey Reed Happy belated birthday. So yeah, I'm just coming through and kind of, ooh, that one's sharp looking. Like you can kind of see, and it makes it super pokey, but if you kind of tuck it in with the rest of the wire. Oh crap, well now I can't get a grip on it at all. Also, the blur is real. Thanks, Ashiri. <laughs> that was good to know. Because I get kind of busy, um, Focusing on what I'm doing that I forget to pay attention to the camera. Well, now I can't get a grip hardly at all. There we go. Oopsie. But yeah. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, Kathy says, I sat and made Mimi Christmas tree ornaments into earrings last week. Oh, and I need to put them in Paris and figure out how to put them online to sell. <laughs> right on. Well, where are you going to be selling, Kathy? Do you have like an Etsy shop or a Facebook marketplace or like um, a Shopify or Weebly or something? Because a lot of these, um, ah, got you, Sherry. Oh, goodness, Bev. Um, it can feel very, very overwhelming to, you know, th this big goal of having an online business of selling your jewelry, but it's breaking, breaking any task that feels big up into small parts, even if it's the most minute of baby steps, uh, write it down, like brain dump it and then put things kind of in order. Um, 
and get that kind of, you know, and then you can tackle it one thing at a time. I really like that actually. I'm going to try to figure out how to use ooh, some scrap wire that we have right here. Hey Stephanie! And I'm going to try to join here or at least yeah I'd like to join there but also definitely here and here with our wire and probably also like here and then down lower. I don't know before we start doing that what are we going to do with this thing over here? I kind of want to do that again. Like, e... Right there. Beep, beep. So I guess that means we're going to have to do... So much to have. Do what, babe? So much to have. Well, I want to fill in right here because that'll help stabilize the thing. Like, does that make sense? Okay. Oops, I knocked off one of my little nubs. Oh, no. Where did my nub go? Is it on the floor? Well, I may have to glue on it. Found you. Okay. Yeah, that's something that you can kind of run into if you join very small amounts of uncured epoxy sculpt to cured epoxy sculpt is um you see how that kind of knocked off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff shake it up hey <laughs> Kendra well thank you <laughs> I think and I've got just a little bit, and I'm going to boop, put just a touch of this. Uh, it's a sealer, but it's also a glue. And I'm going to pick that up. Maddie! Oh, I meant to text her and completely forgot. Maddie, I miss and love you. I was going to send you a text message, but then I forgot some of the bad person. And then I'm just going to glue that crap right back on. What am I working on? I'm working on some, I don't know, I like them. They're like uh, antler fossil that we have some that have quartz crystals. Uh, no, it, it's a pendant for like wearing around your neck, though truthfully, it's yours. You can use it for whatever you want. Like if you take it home, you do whatever you want with it. Okay, so I'm trying to think, should we do weaving on this or leave it bare? What do you think, Randy? Should I do weaving on those two wires or leave them bare? Leave them bare. Okay. Whoopsie, there we go. So doing both of those guys like that. But yeah, this is, has a little bit more movement than what I want. That's how you get things breaking off, is through that wiggle. Do, 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 do. Wiggle, wiggle. Which I may go... Bah. Well, also note to self, if you're going to use glue, you got to let it dry. Where did it even go? Oh, there it is. It got stuck in my wire weaving. Okay, so let's let's glue this on there. And actually let it set up and dry and um, I'm gonna need to use a little bit more glue I think uh, and go do a giveaway which today we are oh well thanks Beth today we are giving away some glass cabochons like in our ten dollar craft along kit on our membership if you guys are interested so be sure to go leave a comment hey Teresa thank you so much for the gifts if not you will be and could you do it next oh yeah we uh we opened them already thank you so much the poncho is perfect and I think Randy's really gonna like that sun shirt 
<laughs> oh, I might have, Christina. <laughs> Did you already open mail? Yeah, Stephanie. Holy crap. Thank you so much for your generous gifts, y'all. And there's the heater again. But yeah, I may end up going through and using more epoxy sculpt to secure this spiral onto the back just to keep everything else from shifting around. But I'm going to see if I can't stabilize through these wires. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to sit that down and let the paint dry. Do it, hun? Yeah? Mm hmm You mean like right here? Yeah. Instead of coming here, mm -hmm. flip it over. You train it down this way. Mm hmm And have it curl up. I was thinking that. Like that's a very good idea. I really don't want the wires crossing and being bunched right there because it'll rub on your skin. Okay. Is my thinking? I, I was thinking about just spiraling this one off that way yeah, and that one off that way. That. that way it doesn't get too bunched up. We can do the bind offs and if nothing else it gives me a little bit more that I can use epoxy sculpt to stabilize it. Thank you for the suggestion though, baby. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, he says. Okay. Did I just, you know what, we're just not going to have that there, I'll glue something else on. <laughs> I just threw it on the floor because I keep forgetting <laughs> that I'm waiting for this to dry as I keep working on it. Okay, and I've hooked that around. <laughs> what up, babe? You're just in there tickling yourself? Ah, gotcha. I can't just throw it on the ground. Where'd you go, little bobble? There you are. Okay. For real this time. <laughs> Oof. I guess I'm going to finish the wrapping and then glue it on. <laughs> How about that? Okay. So that maybe will add a little bit of structure. And then if we come through here, through the back. And then do a bend. Because again, uh, that cuts back on a lot of the wiggle too. Mm -hmm. Hey Yvette, how's it going? But it's going to have little, uh, it's going to connect to some, like, maybe bead links or chain or something coming up the sides. I'll force you guys to play board games or cards when I come visit you. I don't think that'll take much forcing, Christine. <laughs> All is well. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. And that kind of offers a little bit of counterbalance. I like it. And that's a lot less wiggle going on. Okay, like 17th time's the charm. Let's try to get this sucker glued back on there. I think I'm going to have to screw this up a little better, actually. Because I don't want to use super glue, um, just because the glue that I have always leaves like a little bit of a residue. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. What time is it? Oh gosh, I'm 12 minutes late for the giveaway. Ah! Late to my, late at my own party. <laughs> and I'm kind of just going to go through, I'm sure there's a better tool for applying this. 
but um, and just reinforce this with more of the uh, I don't want all my little nodes falling off but while we're doing the giveaway and you can see it'll kind of seep in between all of them Dibla. Dibala. huh you're part of your rules. I guess so. Well, I don't want to be inconsistent with what I tell you guys. I mean, I still am, but I don't want to. <laughs> like, if that counts for literally anything. Intent only throws a ball so far. Okay. Let's... Okay, getting just a little bit more... Yeah, this is not the best applicator, just use it. But I don't have any of my brushes on hand, so... Oh, and I'm off, out of frame anyways. Right on. And you can see it's kind of... There we go. Just use your hand. That works perfect. So much faster. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, now I have glue on my pants. Okay, I gotta go wash my hand because I just dunked my hand into the glue. Huh. All right then. Ah! Son of a biscuit! Um. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, maybe we'll try something else. <laughs> like a thicker glue. <laughs> ah, oh, right on, Dessa. Where's like a stick or something? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get this glued together. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, he says. Ooh, and I wanna show everybody these things. So these are. Oops. We made these in our Saturday exclusive stream, and I wanted to show y'all how they came out. I still need to, I think I'm going to put glass cabs over them, like clear, to like give it like a doming effect. But I really love how they came out. And hopefully we'll have some of these in the auction this weekend as well. Um, <laughs> so, uh, also... We don't have the entire auction lineup listed on the website yet, but we do have some items and we will be listing them more as the day continues. So be sure to keep an eye out on that. They should be all up there by tomorrow. And then we'll be adding more items just if we're able to get things made. Um, okay. Uh, throughout the week is what I meant to say. So let me pick this up. Position it, set it, Oof. and where do you even go? Like, where, there you are. Okay, it found its home. I'm going to set it down, and I'm going to walk away. We're going to go have a giveaway, guys. You ready? Grab my camera. Let's go. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sam dog. Oh, look at that. I am stuck on a dog. Give me a sec. I know it's so hard being a puppy all the time. Oh, you can't wear your paw your bed, man. Oh, no. Oh, you're sliding, buddy. Don't come back. Sam, what have you done? Get on up here, buddy. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you fall off your bed. Oh, it's so hard for you to know. 
You're the best and I love you. I do. Can I have a kiss? Mm. Oh, you're such a good boy. Okay. I didn't! He just, it was gravity. <laughs> gravity was mean to Sam. And over he goes. It's the new beds. They're too, they're too plump and lush and amazing. Okay, let me grab some calves. Because today we are giving away. I don't know what we're giving away. Some calves. Some calves. A calf, a calf. I know, he looked really confused. Sam. He's like, why'd you wake me and then throw me on the ground? I didn't mean to, little leave. buddy. You're my friend. I love you. You're the best. He's going to sneeze. He is. Okay. I got to pick out one more. Okay. To be fair, gravity is kind of a... To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. Okay, I'm coming around to the side, mister. Okay, so we are giving away these three cabochons. Oh. Which this one is two weeks from now. We're having a tutorial on how we made the sheet glass for that. So we're giving away these three cabs. So they are fused glass, so you can use them in wire wrapping, polymer clay, chain mail, uh, Fused glass, technically, they are a 96 COE. I'm going to put these right here. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so you can use them in fused glass. You can use them in metal smithing, uh, metal clay, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go to randomcommentpicker.com. What's up, baby? To be, <laughs> be fair. <laughs> And we're gonna pick a winner, winner chicken dinner. So All last right. chance to we go started comment. started at thirty nine. Uh huh. We're at seventy nine. Nice. You ready? Yep. Bernice Garland. She says, "Love your live streams." Right on, Bernice. You, Bernice. Congratulations. You are a winner, winner chicken dinner. If you could send us an email to Back to Earth Creations at yahoo.com with uh, where you would like for us to ship these to. We'll go ahead and get them shipped off to you. Randy, I'm going to go be right back. Will you hang out with them? Sure. I'm not going to need that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's now funny. You know that <laughs> Maddie, that's hilarious. All righty. That's the right button. That's the right one. Okay. So, congratulations. <laughs> I'm just here like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> but yeah, you can see our Glowforge. It blew up. Well, it didn't blow up. It just, it's not working at the moment. It's going to need uh, replacements of it. How's my ouchie? My ouchie's doing a lot better. Um, I would show it to you guys, but uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that on YouTube. But uh, no more band-aids. Still got pretty good movement. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to lose the nail, so that's good. But uh, yeah, our new Glowforge. A Bernice one. Yeah, again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my finger is going to be just fine. It's a little tight because, like, the scabs are kind of holding it to where it can't bend like this guy. <laughs> but yeah. Like, I don't think I can. Did you show him your boo boo finger? No, I don't think I can. It's graphic. Like, yeah. we're not going to show you guys the wound because that's gross. <laughs> like,. Uh, but it's doing good. We're keeping it clean. Um, he's finally to the point where he can be without a bandage on it, just letting it be like dry. Um, and he still has full mobility of the finger, so I feel like, yay! I'll be right back. I gotta grab my chair. Thank you for keeping them fucking beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 
Yeah. You're so tired of hearing about my player. No, it's I knew we'd be here for another hour. I can't hear you. Because I'm ignoring you. <laughs> No, we're not going to, that's something that when, I think, we do some weird stuff in our streams, y'all. I'm not going to lie, but I do not want to get to the point where people are like, am I going to see blood and gore today? So, no, we're not going to, we're not going to show you Randy's boo-boo finger. <sighs> Katrina says, amazing, Amy says, I love this time with Randy. It should be a regular part of the live stream. You can call it awkward time with Randy. Oh, no. <laughs> awkward time with Randy. Yeah. Were you super awkward? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's not, he's not a social butterfly, you guys. Like, he did, like, the, I remember, oh my gosh, I remember, you guys, the very first time Randy and I were shooting video for his YouTube channel, because he was like, I kind of want to do a channel, um, and I put the camera on him, and I was like, okay, and he, like, froze, deer in the headlights, froze, oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that, it was so cute, though, you guys, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's adorable, he really is. But um, he honestly has gotten a lot better about talking on camera. He's just, I don't know. I, I'm a ham. I'll, I'll sit here and I could put a rock on top of a stick and pretend it was a tripod and just vlog all day. So, um, <laughs> but no, it does not uh, come naturally to Randy. Yes, the replacement Glowforge is down. They have a part on the way for us. Hopefully that'll take care of it. We shall see. But that's why we don't have F Flakes up on our website anymore. because <sighs> reasons <laughs> we need make randy laugh time yeah awkward time with randy i love it we might make that a regular segment if it weren't so awkward for randy i'm not gonna make him do stuff that he doesn't like feel comfortable with that's true drama but it's still like that some people namely me don't do well with uh seeing like boo-boos and stuff which is weird because i can I can slaughter and gut, like, fish and, like, my own meat and be fine, but if I see it on, like, a human, like, a living, like, boo-boo, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do to help you, but please don't make me look at that, so, um, but it's, like, because, and I do fine if I'm, like, tending the wound, but it's whenever I'm just, like, like, people will watch, like, like, the Dr. Pill Popper and stuff, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm like, ugh. Unless I'm the one popping it, and then I'm fine. But if I'm watching it happen, nope, 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 nope. So, <laughs> okay. Um, does your Glowforge cut leather? <sighs> if it's super duper thin leather, sometimes. Our old one did. We honestly didn't try it on the new one, which the new one was working a lot better. The, re the refurbished unit they sent us was working a lot better than um, our previous unit, but it does certainly does not cut through 12 ounce leather. It'll, it'll burn it up real good. Um, I'm the same way I can handle my own, but other human injuries make me nauseous. Yeah, it's, I just try to not like panic. <laughs> Can't even watch myself and get a shot. Let's... And y'all, my dad was a diabetic and twice a day he had to sh get himself with a needle and he would, for his insulin, and he would line it up and then he would look away <laughs> and do it. And I think I take after my dad a little bit in that it's like, mm, I don't want to watch it. Like, no. <laughs> I'm such a wilting violet about it. It's, ugh. I am not proud, unless it's I one of my just kids. Like, stop freaking out and help me with this band -aid. Oh, I wasn't freaking out. I was freaking out, but I mitigated it. He says that like I was running upstairs to get a band aid, and that my feet, and then I boom like a cartoon. <laughs> so y'all ready to talk about? players for the next 30 years because apparently I will talk about this crap forever. So I'm getting this flipped around and and if y'all aren't into this just give me like 10 more minutes like <laughs> and then I'll be fine. Oh goodness Christina you are a braver person than I. Ooh, and that's drying nicely and honestly 
messing about with a planner for the next like five to ten minutes will probably be um perfect for letting that dry wait we did finish it didn't we yeah well no i got a couple of things i need to do okay so not actually finished so it is planner time so first off right oh, there went my pen randy got me some beautiful stickers also somebody sent me a sticker and i don't know who it was i thought it was randy and randy was like i didn't get you that sticker and i was like well then who did and he's like, I don't know. So I figured I'd ask y'all. Where even did it go? I've lost it. I've lost my sticker. There it is. Is this owl sticker? If you sent me this, thank you so much. I love it. It is beautiful and perfect. So, but yeah, Randy got me this one and I used some decorative paper from, uh, I finally found a pack of like paper craft paper that I really liked just about every single design in, but I really, really loved it. So going through, this is, I, I was juggling multiple planners. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And I, I think everyone can benefit from a planner in their own way. Different planners for different folks, y'all. Um, but this is what I have finally found for me as a person who is naturally lent to chaos. Um, sometimes it can do with just a little bit of managing because if I try to manage myself, that gives me something to rebel against, but also to come back to whenever uh, stuff go, starts going sideways. So this is the second week of, I started on, I think, Tuesday. Wednesday of last week. What's up, babe? Maddie says, super ew. Super ew? Yeah, send her a picture. Ew, don't send her a picture. Ah. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, and so I started tracking um, calories, and I was trying to figure out what habits I wanted to track. And um, so... You used the word traumatizing. Traumatizing, <laughs> right on. Um, but this is from the Make Healthy Habit Planner from Happy Planner, and I'm just putting one... Uh, month in at a time trying to cover my car with them all oh, right on Tara it, it was on Amazon <laughs> Propel says I got my planner out and I'm taking notes give me your wisdom <laughs> honestly y'all I have been watching um, the organized money on YouTube I don't know how she doesn't have more subscribers than what she does because all of her content is amazing but I've been going through and just watching all of her stuff um, and she's actually currently doing a video a day, and I've been keeping up with that or trying to. Um, but it's basically, um, I, I just did it kind of for a week, and then we made a soup, and I wrote down the recipe because I'm tired of just screenshotting or saving stuff on Pinterest. Um, took notes about it. Um, actually, that's actually two separate pages. We took notes about it, kept a little bit of a journal insert. We had a meal plan. And then ongoing grocery list. And then just kind of kept tracking. And then ah, a little avocado sticker. Um, I, I feel like I've hit my stride so far this week though. And actually being able to plan ahead. So like I said, last night we did the cleaning zones. Which we broke up all of the sections of our house in a separate notebook that was just like the, a, a true brain dump for just fleshing out ideas and getting them sorted. So this week is zone two. And so today we spend, uh, Fly Lady says do it for 15 minutes and then you're done, I think. <laughs> um, but we've kind of broken up one of the zones of our house, which is our upstairs bathroom, the stairs, and the entryway. Um, and then itemized truly stuff that seems obvious we broke it down into the absolute minutia um and uh kind of parishioned it off into um the days there's also today is our errand day tomorrow's desk day we have uh an anti-procrastination day which we're going to finish putting the plastic on the windows um, we have a live auction on Friday, so nothing's getting done. Um, the rest of the chores and then a home reset. Uh, 
so just kind of parishioning off just a little bit every day just four things so today is clean the sink wipe down the mirror and window in the bathroom scrub the toilet and wipe out the upstairs tub we can't wash the tub because the plumbing is busted on it and it will flood the upstairs if we turn the water on um but i can still it just it needs dusted oh, it's warm in there. i have to dust my tub <laughs> it's warm in the kiln there yeah. right on <laughs> and then keeping track of weight, water consumption, and walking, like our steps, um, food log, and then this is additional chores and just things that need done that day. So this is moving us on to, and I actually had to hand draw all of these, but Randy got me some really nice little inserts. Um, but Happy Planner, it was just set up this way. What that? Well, I can't show them oh, here, but I can show them This the is the board. This is the board that Randy, was this one you were pushing? Yeah. Um, for safety. And it slid, and I guess the saw hit it, and it came and it hit him in the finger, and then hit so him in the stomach. It's all jagged, and then it's smooth, and then <laughs> jagged, and it's smooth. Mm -hmm. Those are the parts that hit me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, baby, I'm so glad your finger's okay. That could have broken it. Like, oh. and then who would I have weave all the chain mail? Oh. Sam Dog, he ain't got thumbs. I love you, Sam, but you don't have thumbs. He would do his best. But, uh, but yeah, I went through and hand drew it all because I didn't want, like, I wanted to start now. And so now we have, this is what I'm doing for our business. Um, and I, I made another bookmark. That way it kind of po pokes up over the top and I can just flip to directly where we're at. Um... And these are just to-do lists. We still have a daily to-do dump that's like unload, load, kiln, uh, post office, ship, like immediate things. These are things that we're kind of planning ahead for. So this is their, um, I got this one at Walmart, I think, uh, but Randy gave me a pack of inserts. And I actually planned out all of my social media posts for the week. Like, what do I need to have pictures of? What's my focus on it? Um, like just kind of plan it out roughly that way whenever I get up instead of feeling overwhelmed I can be like this is what I'm going to be doing for um, you know for today and so instead of feeling overwhelmed altogether I can just feel overwhelmed once in the week get it all out on paper and then if I deviate from this plan that's fine it just gives me a plan to come back to for whenever I feel overwhelmed so again we can plan out our tutorial for the week and all the things that need done for that individually I have an engagement tracker over here and then over here we're actually tracking our expenses and um, income so we've actually had a fantastic sales day yesterday um, but we also paid bills so we keep spending more money than we make but that kind of just feels like how it's always going um, but it gives us a way that we kind of just track and then we can account at the end of the week and I wanted to be able to corrob corroborate is that a word that would be used for talking about this um, to just be able to look and see this is where we did these posts this is how successful that post was this is how sales have gone um so to be able to coordinate those things um uh tara i got this one at walmart but i've made some of my own inserts and randy got me an expander like um from uh like on amazon and then going through here, again, I can plan out very specifically for today's live stream. We had, and I haven't written in the giveaway winner, but it gives me just a little bit more structure. Um, and again, I only plan kind of a week ahead at a time, though I do have in pencil my intent to do the purple fused glass tutorial for the coming week but then after that that way if the structure that I'm using isn't working um it it is and a lot of folks are like they'll just punch it into a spreadsheet like an excel or something and that works for them this works much better for me just having my book that I can cling to <laughs> um, seems to work out really well and then we have uh there's the year at a glance there's um and then so this is moving into where how the pages actually look with we're going to be tracking our expenses, things that we need to restock on whenever we're budgeting to uh, repurchase materials and stuff, notes for maybe like tutorial ideas, like I don't know, just having a place to put things 
Um, and we can change that to be whatever we need it to be as well. Brandy also got me this super cute frog and toad. That's us riding our happy asses into a brand new year. Um, month at a glance. And then this is how it looks when it's not me drawing it with um, pencil, <laughs> a pen and a ruler. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing with my planner. Um, and then there on the front we've got... Pikachu recharging. <laughs> but, uh, and I was juggling around two separate planners, but again, by keeping my health and fitness or my health and wellness rather, um, in that front section. And then I'm just putting that one back into the other planner the whole time. Um, subliminal messages, more F flakes. We would, if we could, our, uh, Glowforge is dead at the moment. Oh, um, I'm just drinking my coffee trying to not rage. Um, so we are unable to fulfill any F Lake orders right now. So which we're devastated about because the marketing for that was going really well. Um, and we've actually like we're eh, we're kinda upset that it's like of course the Glowforge broke. It couldn't have waited another two weeks until <sighs> so yeah, so I'm glad y a lot of y'all were able to get your F flakes when you did because, uh, well, now they're all gone <laughs> because we can't make more. And I'm really sad. So I'm going to get in here. Let me bring the tripod down. Was it the air assist on the glow floor that caused the problem? Um, <sighs> yes, I do think so. Um, in conjunction with the belt broke so the laser stayed in one spot so then compounding other problems but everything should be it'll be fine we'll figure it out so I have just about a 15 inch piece of scrap here a 20 gauge wire that I'm going to I'm holding on to about two inches of it to give me something to hold on to and I'm going to do five wraps around right there um, I don't know. Well, it's now that the belt's broken, we can't even address the other problems because uh, its sensors are like, nope, this is broken, it can't do anything. And we're like, okay, well, can you tell me, you know, if this is working? And it's like, nope, belt's broken, can't do anything. And I was like, okay. Brooke says, again, GoForge isn't doing themselves any marketing favors. Eh. To be fair, we used the hell out of it. Um, we, we truthfully, Glowforge does seem like it was intended for um, individual use. Like, I don't know. It just, it, it seems like we could have really used something a little bit more industrial. Yeah, a bit more of a hobbyist tool than an industrial. Yeah, much more of a hobbyist's tool than an industrial. Now, and I, I use the term hobbyist, like, I don't, I, I personally don't like that term because to me the only difference between a hobbyist and a professional is a hobbyist can do whatever they feel like whereas a professional is like okay let's let's make some bread um get that dough or something like they're just they're doing it for a paycheck as well so I actually I hear some people sometimes using the term hobbyist in a derogatory sense and I actually admire and envy hobbyists you know in quotations because you actually Actually, oftentimes a hobbyist will be more knowledgeable, will be more um, creative, uh, certainly than what I feel like I am. So I'm like, man, sometimes I miss being a hobbyist. Hey, Lisa. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing, pro. We just truly don't have space for it. But we are um, a big part, actually, to talk more about planners about why I'm going so heavy into trying to restructure our life is it's, we have, Randy and I have a dream on the horizon of having camp craft along and, you know, property and multiple buildings and a lot of things. And I, I found myself keep being like, oh, well, it'll, one day things will be like this. It'll be like this when we have that. And I don't like just dreaming for a future that I have to kind of sit around and wait for it to happen. And it's like, I want to start living my life right now like we are living that dream because in our way Randy and I are very much living the dream that we dreamt a decade ago 
you know, we're making a living off of our business. Um, and it, it can be very beneficial, I think, to start living like, you know, you have, you know, this is this home that I'm, that I'm in. Well, it, it is my home is not my dream home, but I want to start living in it and treating it like it is so that whenever I am in the home that Randy and I have built with our own hands on our property, you know, that, you know, it is our forever home, we will already be in the habit of keeping a tidy house of, you know, we'll already be knowledgeable of how do we repair our, repair our plumbing? How do we, you know, deal with a contractor and the insurance agency and stuff to get stuff taken care of so that we can take good care of, you know, just, it's like practicing for our dream life. And then even if every, you know, sideways thing that could possibly happen happens between here and there, then we have a life that we've lived like it was our dream life and suddenly we've lived our dream life. So, um, and we kind of, you know, we, we used to do that when we lived in apartments and we were like, well, let's treat it like it were our forever home. You know, how would I have my entertainment system? You know, or the, you know, our little tube TV, you know, how would I, you know, how would I have my houseplants instead of waiting for getting houseplants until we had a house? You know, I was like, well, maybe I'll get one now and uh, see if I can keep it alive. You know, start baby stepping yourself to the best version of your life that you can vision. Um, and before you know it, you're living that best version of your life. And it's pretty freaking cool. So is the hope. So and if not, shoot for the moon, hang out with the stars kind of stuff. Hey, Anna, how's it going? Julia says, I'm a hobbyist and I tied a couple flies for fishing and can redo if it's not exactly what I want. Right on. <laughs> Brooke says, a hobbyist is just someone who is realistic about the money making potential of their hobby. Some things are really fun, but not profitable. That's fair. Right on. B Rad says, I think hobbyist is a pejorative like, or crafter. We're all really artists. Yeah, for sure. But it's, I just wanted to specify because, you know, um, my, oh, what's the word? Not correlate, but it's like um, my association with a word may not be the same as like your association with a word. So just being clear that it's, I never went to, um, you'll be like, oh, they're just hobbyists. It's like, no, not at all. I've heard people, you know, describe it in that tone. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to avoid confusion as much as possible <laughs> that it's like, that is not my, my tone on this one. I can't help it. I'm an old lady who loves to fish. Oh, I loved fishing when I lived at the campground. There was this one bass that I, like a smallmouth bass that I caught so many times and released that it looked like he was a punk rocker. He had so many lip piercing scars, but, um, and I named him Tommy, but it was like a little, it was a little pond. <laughs> Ruth says, I'm still hanging in there. Hey, Ruth, I love hearing your backstory. I have too many hobbies to be a business and is proud to be a hobbyist. Right on. I make things and give them away. <laughs> nice, Lisa. Oh my, Tommy the punk rocking fish. <laughs> but I remember uh, the lake at the, or the pond. To me, it was the lake, but I was a child and a one acre pond seemed massive. Um, but they had a floating dock out in the middle of it. That was like a, it was just some like, like a deck basically on these big blue barrels that were sealed so they were like full of air and I would go underneath and like hang on to the um the beams underneath that connected everything because you could see down into the water and I'd just look down into the water and uh, the fish would come and like look at me and be like what is this bitch doing and I'd be like oh and I'd just like watch the fish it was like being at an aquarium or something um you know pre-internet days I suppose <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Okay, so we got a little bit more weaving done on that. It could be useful to to note when someone is a hobbyist, but like when comparing business plans, if you want making stuff to be a job, you want to look at similar examples. That's very fair, Brooke. And that is a really good point.
that is a really good point. <clears throat> and I feel like there's still a little too much wiggle happening here in the front on this one. So I'm going to see if we can't get that stabilized. So let me snip that. Smush that. Okay, so we've got a lot less wiggle here on the front, and then I'm going to try to stabilize this around. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull off a little bit more. Hey Gary, how's it going? Um, that is an antler. Oh, on the handle? Um, it's thermoplastic. It's uh, like Warbler or Terraflex. Um, and so you can heat it up and then I shape it to fit in my hand. That way it's a lot more comfortable than if you have pliers like this, that there's nothing really for your pinky to hold on to. Um, so I really like, these are my pliers that I use the absolute most. So I liked having that. Um, this is going to be a necklace. I've attached points here and here that, um, in the weaving that can be used to attach chain or cord or something. Oops. My pen drying out. So I pulled off about a yard of this 28 gauge silver plated titanium. This is a copper core that has a silver plating but then is further enameled to keep it from tarnishing. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start splicing in our wire, if it'll focus. And sometimes you have to pull it out away from your work a little bit. But if you always make your coils in the same direction, then you can kind of make your new wire fit in with the wire you had already coiled. And this can really help you get seamless splices on adding in more wire. It's not always an option, like further up here. I didn't bother with it, but I think it, I mean, unless somebody's attacking your work with like, you know, a microscope or something, are they even going to notice, you know, oh my god, there's a loose end of wire there, tidily tucked in with the other ones. How dare you? It's like, uh, thanks. <laughs> but it is the internet, and people will be people, and I'm just trying to do my best. Now, I do try to get to make sure that there is no little pokey bits poking up. So, I've continued wrapping around to about here and I'm going to wrap down and around on the back and I'm going to come up from behind. <laughs> right Gary? We're going to kind of try to come up from behind. There we go. On this one and cinching quite snugly down around stacking. Oops. Oh, I don't want to get little kinks in it. There we go. <laughs> right on, bro. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of the way. So again, just coming up from behind. And coming down, trying to stack the wires side by side as they travel down the, uh, the tip of the antler. And I'm going to try to put that through there. There we go. Through. I like to put my finger there to catch it to make sure that it doesn't have any kinks. 
I'm just wrapping. Mm -hmm. Wow, well thanks, Rad. I'm really glad you were able to join us. It's been a bit of a wild ride in uh, today's stream, but I've really been enjoying myself. And I've really been enjoying y'all's company, so thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Okay. Oof, yeah. SEO is something that can be really, really daunting at first. But the more you do it, the more you get it figured out, and just the better off you are. It does get easier as you go. Yeah, Christina. Oops, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, so I'm going to try to back out of that. Now, also, I'm going to take an opportunity of shameless self-promotion. If you guys like this piece or would like to own one of our other pieces of jewelry, we are doing our last live auction of the year this Friday, um, starting at 4 p.m. to our Craft Along Club members and also uh, to 5.30, just live on YouTube. Um, so be sure to sign up for our newsletter if you'd like those notifications. Also, um... We have just a whole mess of jewelry and cabochons and all different things added to our store at backtoearthcreations.com. Uh, starting at just $5. I actually think we have some $4 cabs left as well, though. They might have sold more. But, um, and then if you do like our channel and would like to support the creation of more free tutorials, uh, please consider joining our Craft Along Club. For just a dollar a month or twelve dollars a year that goes a long way in supporting the production of these tutorials and that's our goal here above all else above our craft along kits above making sales above everything is to provide free tutorials to other crafters so that we can help you all along as best as we can um, with if you're wanting to make a business out of your work if you're wanting to learn a new technique um, Oh, Tara, thank you. But, um, like, I, I will never charge for our tutorials. Uh, sometimes, like, uh, one time we sold, like, a kit that had a tutorial along with it, but we did not include the tutorial in the price, and we there was a free video out also um, of that. But I want always, always, always for um, the education portion of what we're doing to be free. Just because I remember when we were starting out and it was a dollar seemed to uh, go a little bit further back then for one, but also it was, you know, we were paycheck to paycheck, very hand to mouth, um, trying to get by and it was, do I spend $15 for this tutorial and learn something because I'm new to this and need to learn or do I spend that $15 on materials that I can actually make stuff with you know it's it, that can be a hard thing to balance and whenever you're also trying to balance kids and groceries and bills and blah 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 etc um we um we don't want you to have to pick we want the tutorial to be free Kelly says I highly recommend alcohol and going to the auction only me um y'all do you Randy and I don't really drink so we're big fans of it and really take alcohol to have fun, but there's also a lot of people who don't need coffee to wake up in the morning, and here I am dumping this crap into my body at 4 p.m. <laughs> so. And that bit right there went a long way in stabilizing the wiggle of the piece. There's still a little bit up top that I'd like to get stabilized. I'm not entirely certain how to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is come in here on the wire and cinch. Yeah, it's still, that actually made it worse. Crap, what did I do? <laughs> no. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, that's an idea, Pi. Yeah, very asymmetrical, very hopefully organic. Mm 
Well, now I made it wiggle again. Well, I'm just going to keep fiddling about with this, I suppose. <laughs> Right on, Kelly. Yeah, don't bust that bead loose again. Well, it should be super durable. So <laughs> it's I, I'd really much rather break this uh, knee playing with it um, in my craft room where I can fix it than after we've charged somebody money and sent it home with them. Uh, <laughs> Got the Vaughn seal of approval. Smack, smack, smack. Oops. There we are. Just trying to... Oh, yeah. There we go. I think it's fun oyster, y'all. Thanks for me hijack your thread anytime, pro. <laughs> I'm just a troll in sheepskin. Me too, bruh. I'm a capitalist in hippie clothing. I'm like, start a business, make that bread. <laughs> Get your bills paid, buy beads. <laughs> but also hug trees and stuff. <laughs> hug trees, love each other. Pet a goose. Like, I don't know. Go to go to the lake and pet a goose. Like, live your best life. I'm not the boss of you. So <laughs> been around for yeah. Pro, you have like, I think in two years you've missed one stream. Like, you show up for my stuff more than I do. <laughs> so yeah, you can promo your business. Have you sent us a featured artisan thing yet, Pro? Speaking of which. We have a featured artisan uh, section in our weekly newsletter, and I'm going to be trying to get that added to our website in 2021. So we will actually have a featured artisan gallery, which will be pretty cool. I don't know if we'll be able to, if I'll be able to find all the emails that I backlogged of the folks who have already been featured, but I am definitely going to at least start at our January 2021 and include everybody kind of leading up to that way. As you should. As I should what? Bro, I missed one stream over the past two mm. years. I feel really bad about it. <laughs> As you should know. <laughs> it's, we never want people to feel pressured to participate or adhere to our schedule or anything like that. We're just bumbling around, bumping into stuff, and we love it when y'all show up when you can. So, um, And if not, we're always here for the replay. Um, yeah, you guys can send us... You can be a featured artisan more than one month. Like you can send us more of your work. We're gonna be including our ambassador program, which uh, again, we're gonna be fleshing out more of the details for that. Hey, Judy. Um, but uh, it's going to begin. We're not certain yet how it's going to evolve, but we know like in all things, it is going to evolve. Um, it's going to begin with us sending out cab packages to folks who want, who would like to be ambassadors. And then you use those cabs in your work, however you like, whether you do leather working, polymer clay, mixed media, wire wrapping, chain mail, however you want, you use your free cabs, however you like, and then we give you a coupon. So, um, you know, like, uh, like pro pool, we give you a coupon that's like pro pool 15 and people can use that coupon in our shop to get 15% off their, um, orders which incentivizes me hustling uh but also it helps us track how many sales you've pushed towards our shop and then in a reflection of that we send you more free caps so um it's a little bit of like a referral rewards program we're gonna see how that evolves um but we want to be able to give back to you guys because so many of y'all already tag us in your stuff so many of y'all um you know are doing so much footwork for us uh out there in the internet world and on social media and stuff and we want to be able to give you um you know something for your time and we're just we're trying to find the best way to do that um that 
is worth it for y'all and sustainable for us. So we're always trying something new. It's like the second I start getting a grasp on what we've bitten off, because it's typically more than we can chew, the second I start to get a grasp on it, I'm like, mm, I need more on my plate. And it's like, do you? Do you? Yes, I do, actually. Um, so, <sighs> um, any last minute questions before we head out? I've got to get back to getting pictures before the sun sets on us and I have to put my chickens away. <laughs> Phyllis says we all need to eat. Ain't that the truth? Oof. <laughs> Scrolling through. Even fishing flies. Yep. <laughs> right on, Ruth. Well, uh, we do have a calendar up on our website. Um, it's on the homepage. You just scroll down to the bottom and it's our calendar of the events for the month. And that has all of our stream and tutorial premiere and stuff schedules. Um, we typically live stream every week on Tuesday from 2 to 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to be having our last auction of the month this Friday. Um, uh, again, starting at 4 to our Craft Along Club and 5.30 to everybody here on YouTube. Check out today and tomorrow, like this afternoon and tomorrow morning, we will have hopefully a fully updated auction gallery so you guys can start peeking and see if there's anything that you'd like. Um, and then also next week on Friday, we are going to be having our very first end of month, like, I don't know, big bash Shop sale? Blowout. Shop blowout? I don't know. We're going to have some huge sales on everything in our shop at the end of the month and we're going to do a live stream where we do custom jewelry for y'all like I think we're going to do like finger rings where we have a selection of these are the wires you can choose from these are the beads you can choose from and then I'll actually be making your ring live to the size that you want um uh here in in the stream and that way it's kind of like the same high energy hangout as our live auctions but without all of the live auction part so we can just hang out um <laughs> so I don't know I guess more of like a live stream but also me trying to hustle for sales because mommy's got bills to pay apparently I need a new roof so <laughs> and there's always something in there I'm gonna have to evict a bunch of squirrels um ooh, Kelly says I need to play with the chainmail crafts more right on How, did you follow along with our Sunday tutorial at all did you like that like I don't know like I was hoping it's been a long time since the first time I ever picked up pliers and so there's a lot of things that as crafters we forget what it was like to not know how to do and it's like do y'all remember what it felt like to feel clumsy with pliers in your hands and that's what that first tutorial was for I made myself cross-eyed <laughs> oh no um I was I was trying to treat it like a video that if it's the first time you've ever picked up pliers first time you've ever made literally anything. I wanted it to be able to introduce you into the world of um, crafting and chain mail and just using jump rings in general. Right on, more chain mail toots would be good. I'll keep that in mind. So, and then of course we had somebody come in, elitist chain mail folks, I think cannot help themselves. We had somebody come in and was like, this is a real chain mail. And it's like, would you rather have me started off teaching everybody micro male elf weave for their very first project? Like, yeah, no. And I was just like, ugh. but no. And they're every time too. It's Randy and I'll, whenever we were in our booth, I'm going to shit talk just a little bit. You guys, it's the end of the stream. My coffee's getting cold. It's time to shit talk. Um, every convention, there would be somebody who has to walk up and tell us everything we've ever done wrong in our whole life and how we should have been running our business and how we need like, well, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, ugh. But there's always one and they'd come and they'd stand at our booth for too long and we'd try our best to be polite because they're a human being and they we owe them that because they might not deserve it, but that's how we behave to people even if they're jerks is we'd be nice because maybe they're just having a bad day. But, and then they'll leave and they were like, there they were. That's the one. There's always at least one a day. Um, so we got that comment and I was like, there you are. There you are. I see you. And 
and I don't know, it's really hard to convey tone, but they were, they were very condescending. And I was like, just say thank you for sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Which, but at the same time, you never know when you might learn something new. You never know when you might make a new friend. I've had days where I'm sure I was the person who was just enthusiastic about something that I liked and made a complete and total ass out of myself at somebody else's booth just because I'm incapable of shutting up. Like, you know what I mean? So it's, I try to not be too judgy, but at the same time, it gets... <sighs> my hot bean juice tea that's real cold. Gary says, glad I got my f -wicks before it went belly up. Me too, Gary. We got so lucky. Like, it was... We've been lucky beyond what is reasonable. Um, that we were able to fulfill all of the sales that we had made before it died. Because uh, it got to a point that we were like, let's just leave it open for anybody to be able to order. Let's not cap it. And let's, um, you know, fulfill orders as they're made instead of making inventory and then it's selling out. Like, we didn't want to miss out on a potential sale. And we were able to fulfill them all. And we were like, because as soon as the forge broke, we capped it. We took it down off the website. And we were like, this was really lucky. Because otherwise we may have had to start like um, refunding folks. Tara says, you know they do that just to hear themselves talk. Bitch, why do you think I vlog? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I think I'm hilarious, apparently. If you get the Glowforge back up, will you offer the f -lakes? again? I'd be willing to buy them after the holidays, even. We think so, Spooky, but we're going to do it in a way um, where we make some and then post them for sale. We cannot risk. Like, we don't want to have to refund somebody. Like, that's a hassle for y'all. Like, we want the buying transaction. Like, spending money is stressful, period, for me, at least. And so it's like, I want to make this process as pleasant for y'all as possible because you are giving me money for stuff and that's amazing it's what I do for a living and I love it um but I don't want to have to refund anybody so um we're gonna make them and then post the inventory like real time so we're gonna be like probably posting daily to be like okay they're up we'll get them if you want them and hopefully if the Glowforge works again I'm going to be spending most of my afternoon looking at the exhaust fan and seeing if I can figure something out about that. Like, I think, where does a person get degreaser? I think I need de degreaser. Because the. Degreaser for? for getting all the grease off for, for degreasing. Because uh, I don't know if I can get the vinegar water up in there because I think that threw off the humidity last time, which made the boards warp, which made the thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, AutoZone? Okay smile while thinking er. <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna let you go thank you so much for hanging out with us today and for chatting with me i do hope that literally anything was even minutely helpful to you all today because i kind of feel like i just just played with beads and my planner for two hours so yeah we'll see y'all in in friday's live auction holy crap wow the week's flying by already Woof. And then in Saturday's stream, and then in Sunday's tutorial, and then next week on Tuesday. So until then, guys, happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>